What's going on, guys? Um, I have a prediction. Um, I think I'm on the money on this one. Now, we all know we have COVID um, and everything's going online. And there's a huge push. Online sale is up because you can't get to the brick and mortars because of COVID. But here's my prediction. As you drive down Newberry Street, you see a ton of shops that are for rent. And if you call the landlord, you're like, hey man, I wanna rent the space. He's still giving you the rent price like there is absolutely no pandemic going on. Like it's 2018, everything's normal. And the rent is the rent. And landlords on Newberry Street rather make $0 than to rent to you at a lower cost. So a lot of people in the real estate industry is saying, oh man, this is the end of commercial real estate. Here's the thing about commercial real estate. And, and I, when it, I'm not a real estate agent, but I've been right about the market all year. I said there was gonna, not going to be a real estate dip. Everybody claims there's going to be a big real estate dip. There hasn't been one yet, so so far Uncle Shake's right. And I'm gonna give you another prediction. Big box stores, commercial real estate is here and they're going back to basics. Let me, let me explain to you. So as we all know, I'm a PlayStation 5 reseller. We go online, we get the bot, the bot buys it, then we resell. Let me tell you how the bot works. So basically what happens is when you go on to organicstreetbuzz.com, right? You load the page, takes about a second. You pull the images, you pull the text, you pull the banner, you pull all the code down, boom. And then you get the website. This is all happening I mean, if, if you're not cheap at 100,000 megabytes per second, right? 1,000 megabytes per second, that's your download speed if you have good internet. When you use a bot, what the bot is doing, the bot is just downloading the code. So if you don't understand what I'm saying is when you go on a website today, click right click and then say view source. And then that's the code that's making the GUI, which is the graphic user interface, is what, what you see. When the bot goes in, it doesn't load the, the GUI. It just loads the text. So that is why the bot's quicker than you, because while you're loading the screen and getting all the photos of your PS5 and all the content, all the information, the video gameplay, while all that's being downloaded to your computer, the bot is just grabbing the text. It's not grabbing no graphics. So by the time you load the website, the bot's already grabbed it, paid for it, on to the next. Walmart doesn't make any money off the PS5. Very little pro uh, profit. But what Walmart wants you to do is, they want you to go to walmart.com, put the PS5 in your cart. Turn to your girlfriend. Hey, honey, what do you want? Nail polish, popcorn, soap, shampoo, Q-tips, toilet paper, maxi pads. So then you put toilet paper in the cart. You put toothpaste in the cart. You put a pair of flip-flops in the cart. And you, the dog needs dog food. You put dog food in the cart. You go to checkout your PS5 and all your stuff that you just put in the cart, then you check out and off with your day. Walmart's probably making money off the Walmart brand, prescriptions, maxi pads, 
toilet paper, dog food. They make money off that. The PS5 is is the carrot to get you to shop with them. No biggie. What's happening is the bots are consuming all the PS5s. Since there's so many bots attacking Walmart.com and also users attacking Walmart.com. Everybody's attacking Walmart.com to get the PS5. It slows down the site. With the incoming traffic, which is so much, what it then does is it then crashes the site. So me now who's going on a Walmart, I have no skin in the game. I'm going on Walmart to buy pajama pants. And I put it in my cart and my cart's not loading. Like I can't buy pajama pants. Why can't I buy pajama pants? And then Susan who's trying to buy nail polish and Tommy who's trying to buy bullets or or Jimmy that's trying to buy um, a football or Sarah that's trying to buy lip gloss. All of those transactions can't happen because of what's going on with the bots and the consumption or the trying consumption of the PS5. Walmart sees this as a problem. So what Walmart then does is they complain. Then what Walmart does is they, there was a site where you could track Walmart's inventory. So you track Walmart's inventory and you go to the store and you say, hey, listen, I like to buy a PS5 and Walmart says we don't have any in stock. And uh, the person, the consumer goes, yeah, you do. Here's your inventory. I just downloaded your inventory offline. Well, how the hell do you get access to our inventory? Because you look up people's inventory by SKUs and UPS, UPC code. People started fighting with the employees at Walmart. What ended up happening is Walmart called the website and said, please remove the UPC and the SKU number off your website because we don't want people coming in and starting fights with our uh, employees over the PS5. Online has caused a lot of problems for big box stores. So now big box stores is going back to basics. Listen, if you want a product, you gotta come, stand in line, and that's the end of it. We're not putting it online for the bots to grab it, for you to get our, our inventory list. No, you have to come and stand in line for any for a high for a high ticket, a hot ticket item. And here's my wrap up. And this is why commercial real estate is not going to die. Because as we human beings get technically advanced, and once you start putting stuff online, then stuff, then security risk increases. To avoid security risk, you want to store, you come in, you stand in line, you buy it, and you beat it. And this is why I believe commercial real estate, it's still going at a premium even in the middle of a pandemic. And I think that, and I know that you, you need brick and mortar. You cannot kill brick and mortar. It's gonna, it's gonna dip, but we gotta go back to basics. We can't put our product online because it's vulnerable. If it's in the showroom, you gotta come to the store and you gotta buy it. And here's my prediction that commercial real estate is not going to die. It's making a huge, huge comeback. Peace and love, baby. Peace and love. Like we mopping, boy. See you to the doctor, nigga. I ain't playing with you. Stuck with my brother, NBA.